Hello everyone. Welcome to um, the first video of our C++ series. So history of C++. Um, C was developed after the language called um, B, designed by Ken Thompson in 1970, which itself came from another language called BCPL, meaning Basic Combined Programming Language, also developed by Matt Richards. The code written in C um, began to suffer setbacks. And uh, one of the setbacks was the inability of programmers to harness the power of the personal computer without the software growing more complex and longer. And um, as such, in 1983, uh, Bian Strasdrup at um, Bell's lab developed a solution and named it the C++ programming language. He drew inspiration from some of the previous languages that allowed object-oriented programming such as similar 67. The explicit aim, according to Bian, was to match C in terms of runtime, code compactness, and data compactness. This quote highlights the goal of C++ with classes to maintain the efficiency of C while improving the organization of programs. And this shows uh, the importance placed on not sacrificing runtime performance for improved program structure. So C++ um, is a general purpose language. Um, unlike other languages that are created for specific purposes, C++ is a general purpose language as such. It has a wide range of applications, yeah, including operating systems, and as such, we have uh, Windows, video games. Video games, we have Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, they all have C. Uh, we have device drivers, we have ATM console machines, uh, we have web browsers, as, um, Chrome, Google Chrome, and then Mozilla Firefox, they are all incorporating C. We have graphic and animation applications such as Adobe Photoshop. We have um, financial applications such as MetaTrader and the TradeStation. All these um, use C++. As such, C++ has a general purpose or wide um, range of applications. So C++ is an object-oriented programming language, um, as said earlier. Um, as such, it supports encapsulation in help improving code organization and reusability. Um, it's also a compiler language, meaning that it translates the entire program into machine code before execution, which um, helps enhances performance. C++ has a larger community, a larger and an active community. It's, it's one of the oldest and then um, currently um, it has a large community still. It's in use, it hasn't been disregarded, it's still in use. And then also he has open source libraries and frameworks that actually uh, would help you um, increase functionality of the language um, to tackle um, specific or special needs. 